Cooper Cup. And, and I could say most of the same things about Cooper Cup as far as the receiver. At the Combine, Steve Smith said Cooper Cup was his wide receiver one. You can see why people love Cooper Cup. Do you have a moment where you were like, man, this is a reality, like I'm actually going to be able to go to the NFL? I could have told you staunchly, like, this is what I'm going to do, like, I'm going to play football in the NFL, that's what I'm going to do since I first stepped on the football field. It wasn't necessarily like I was running past everyone, it's like, oh, no one can touch me, I'm going to play in the NFL, it was more like, well, that's what I want to do, I'm just going to go do it. Why do you think that the big schools kind of overlooked you? You know, it's tough, and, and I think, you know, there's probably a few reasons I did. I mean, I was 175 pounds, a you know, guy from a school that no no one ever came out of. Yeah. And uh, in a place that most people probably didn't want to recruit anyway. <laughs> yeah. Know? Freshman year, my freshman year, I stepped on the scale. I was five foot four, 119 pounds. I remember I was really 115 by these ankle weights on my, and I had sweats over them. So you yeah, see, so I stepped on the scale, I got an extra four pounds. It's a no brainer that Cooper made it off because of his work ethic. I mean, he came in a little kid wearing ankle weights all the time, and without a doubt, the hardest working kid that's ever walked the campus of Davis High School. The thing I remember most about Cooper on the football field is just how hard he worked. It's going to sound cliche, but he did. He, he, he outworked everybody else. From the start, you knew the kid was a grinder. I mean, the way he's been described in football is the way he was in the classroom. He'd put his head down and grind out math problems. I mean, since high school, you've always had the strongest work ethic of anyone I knew. I mean, I remember one time we got home from an away basketball game and it's 11.30 at night and you went to the weight room and you're pushing weights. Where does this work ethic come from? One, it starts with my parents mm -hmm. and what they, how they instilled in me the, like how you approach anything. I had to learn, I was forced to learn how to work yeah. as I was growing up where everyone was taller than me, everyone was faster than me, yeah. everyone was stronger than me and it got to the point if I wanted to hang out with my friends, like I had to do everything I could when we weren't playing sports to make sure that when we were playing, I could keep up with them. get a chance in Eastern Washington. What was the four years there like? Really, it was just a, a blessing. Like I, I, as much as I wanted to be at you know USC or BAM or all these big schools, yeah. the friendships I made with these guys at Eastern Washington, um, you know, things that last me a lifetime. When I was standing up at my wedding, I had my brothers next to me, I had Swags, I was my best man, and then I had all football players. It was just a blessing to be there, to have those relationships, have the coaches that I did. NFL Draft, the Los Angeles Rams select Cooper Cup, receiver, Eastern Washington. So another weapon to go with Jared Goff, and you're thinking to yourself, man, Cup, that name's... What has kind of been the transition to move down to Los Angeles? It's definitely not Yakima or Cheney or anything like that, but it is different. The people here are, are incredible. I mean, you see people that are chasing their dreams, that are doing some, um, you know, going after things. and. Uh, being able to just walk down the street and see the people that are grinding just to you know be able to get there, it's, it's uh, really inspiring. You don't really see that too much in Yakima. No, you it's, don't. It's just a different <laughs> atmosphere it's there. A different thing. <laughs>
You know, go to the park, get some friends together, you go play sports. When, when did you first start playing football? I grew up playing against my dad in the living room. You know, yeah. get on his knees after to get from one side to the other. And that's like my earliest memories. I mean, that was the first house we lived in. And that I must, I couldn't have been older than five years old, but vivid memories of being able to do that. Knowing where your identity is and knowing that as much as I want to be a football player and strive to be that, I'm so much more than that. It's been maybe the most instrumental part of this whole thing. My faith is grounded in my real purpose here and that there's a, a kingdom um, past us, that this life is temporary. And there's such great things ahead, no matter what the naysayers say, no matter what anyone tells me, I know that my identity is in Christ and nothing can take me off of that. Okay, I'm gonna play football, I wanna be the best mm -hmm. to do it. He outworked everybody else. You're seeing it now on you know on TV on Sundays. And it's it's like this is the same kid and he's still making people fall over just by shaking his shoulders. But when my son's in high school, yeah. I, I want to still be able to dunk over him. I can't. <laughs> you always want to have that. I gotta have that. On. <laughs> and so, like, the longer we wait, the less chance. I'm already not like I'm not like pulling anything back right now.